Down podcast. I'm Jonas and I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. Uh, TNT. Yo. So we we saw the sphere in Vegas. We did. The big old eye sore. Yeah. I mean, it looks really cool. It it looks cool, but it's just like it's too much. It is an. Eyesore. I would hate to see it all the time. Yeah. It's, like it's very interesting. Oh, I'm sorry. Finish your sentence. Oh, no, I'm just going to say, like, I mean, uh, the inside, I heard, is really crazy. The inside's crazy. Yeah, the U2's doing their shows now. It's open. Yeah, yeah. It's interesting on, like, where they put it in the city because... It's such a weird spot. It's, it's in, like, a bunch of, like, around a bunch of parking decks, and, like, it's kind of like... It's tucked away in an area where you don't generally have to go. It doesn't yeah, receive I mean, a lot of foot traffic. Yeah, I mean, on the monorail, traffic. you ride right by it. Yeah, I mean, but it's that's big as ish. That's what you want to do when you're riding in a monorail. You want to ride. Oh my God! There's the sphere, mommy. Take a picture it's, of me. Exactly. I and hope that, it show turns into a giant billboard for the NFL when I go by. And we definitely had a bunch of people with their camera phones out when we rode the monorail, looking at the sphere. Yeah. So, anyways, there was a man. There was a man, and he climbed the sphere on the outside recently. He climbed it. He cli- He scaled the outside of the sphere. Oh, yeah, yeah. I saw this. I saw uh, this. Yeah. Is Sphere Maison, Spider-Man. He was Maison a- des Champs. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a 366-foot tall structure. He scaled it on the outside, and then he was arrested. He made it to the top. He did. Awesome. Um, he was doing it for homeless pregnant women. I knew he was a act- pro-life activist. I knew he was hey, an activist. Ad. Um, yeah, so um, he got arrested. I uh, Would you Spider-Man the Sphere? Would I Spider Man the sphere? I doubt I would do that. No. Would you parkour anything? Would you scale anything? No. What the fuck? Why? I see. You know, I don't know who you think I am, Spider Man. But I do not understand why people want to do these activities. I understand it is fun to have a hobby. I understand it is fun to have a hobby that not everybody has. Yeah. I understand there's some brownie points. I got some hobbies that people don't have. I understand there's some brownie points in participating in a dangerous activity that, uh, or risky behavior that other people. Waiting for him at the bottom. What? Think Think his girlfriend was waiting for him at the bottom. Like, Hey baby, you just say You just did this fear thing. Look, honestly, if she wasn't waiting at the bottom, she was waiting at home. There's hey. a girl behind that guy who was like, yo, that made me wet. Was, you know? Wow. It, I'm, uh, there is. There is. There is. Was it a homeless pregnant woman? Because uh, probably. Look, man, he's de- especially, yeah, you're dealing with a bunch of homeless pregnant women. You got one at home that you didn't, you took up. Come on, bro. We picked, all know. And she's he, with you on the front lines. Pregnant woman? Yeah. He's probably married to an ex-homeless pregnant woman. An ex-homeless. I don't know his life, but I'm look educated guesses here. Look, if you're a guy, you're an activist for homeless pregnant women. You put a man around a bunch of homeless pregnant women. Guess what? She's already pregnant, so you know she puts out. Jesus, <laughs> what, what am I making? Am I making sense here? I I don't know. Am I insane to think that this is the natural way that things go in life? I don't. I don't. I don't know. That seems weird. What do you mean it seems weird? It seems weird to have sex with women? How do you think you were made? Ew. How is this weird? Don't talk about my mother's virginity, please. Regardless, I think that, yeah, I think that guys do most of the stupid sh- that they do for, for a woman. For the but affection of a woman? I do not understand an engaging in risky behavior out of, like, like what sense of, in- like, you can get that enjoyment through something safer. You don't have to go to the zoo and play with the big cats. Yes, I love big cats too, but if when they eat your ass like they did Siegfried, I want to see you pet a lion. I don't want to do that. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care about touching a lion. I don't care about jumping out of a plane and landing safely on the ground. I don't care about climbing a, a, a mountain without the use of climbing gear. Why? 
I don't want to climb the sphere for pregnant women. <laughs> Here's twenty dollars, bitch. Go go get your kid and you a, 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 a number one with an extra large I ain't drink. I'm gonna get you two number ones. No, what, just what one number one. Love? They Say, can what, split that. What country you live nah, in? Nah, she needs to stay light. Eighteen. Wow. <laughs> she gotta stay light on her feet. Eighteen dollar Big Mac meals out here. I, I was about to make a domestic violence joke that was I'm not gonna go over you. well. I'm glad that I cut you off, it Matt Reif. <laughs> It's not gonna go. Yeah, over I feel you. I, yeah, probably. <laughs> right. Yeah, I didn't make it. I didn't make it. You yeah. can make it yourself at home. Yeah, he he found out what domestic violence jokes do to people in 2024. Yeah, I wouldn't agree with it, man. But yeah. I do. I, I I commend the dude for for uh taking up for for women. And I honestly, I feel like that's a wonderful thing to do. I don't understand how this gets their uh women any money. <laughs> it's for awareness it's like the ALS challenge I don't understand how dumping ice on your head did it but it made people aware that ALS was a thing it, I mean I guess but did people donate because of it I didn't nobody donated because I he... think they made some money like I don't know something no he didn't make any we money we should start a new challenge what do we want to make you think awareness? somebody sponsored him to climb <laughs> Oh, did he make money? Oh, I don't know. Maybe, That's what I'm saying. I mean, no, I did not. I was unaware that there were homeless pregnant women until now. <laughs> now you're aware, but you're not giving them any money. I maybe nope. if, maybe if I'm downtown Austin and there's a homeless pregnant woman, I'd be like, because the guy climbed the sphere, here is some money. Okay, so what is the percentage of Americans that heard the story because it made like a blip on the radar? Yeah, it was a it was a blip worthy story. It was, yeah, it was a blip on the radar. How many? What's the percentage of people do you think that actually were like, oh, there's a homeless pregnant women <laughs> organization <laughs> that this guy was doing it for? I wonder what organization that was. Let me look it up. Yeah, I agree with some of the stuff this organization did, and that guy's brave. Let me donate a hundred dollars. How uh, many people? How many people? Ah, uh, wow. How I mean, many? I need to take a second to think about this. I'm giving you all the time in the world. Ooh. I'm just filling dead air with my voice. Yeah, I'm. I'm thinking about it. I mean, there was. And them. I'm holding up a big zero right now to let everybody know how many you, I think. I guarantee you, somebody did. It's one percent. Ooh, that's too much. One. <laughs> <laughs> much. I'm at one person. One <laughs> Not one percent. One person. One person probably. One person. And it was the guy who climbed. Yeah, take the T off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was. It was just just one guy. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. So yeah, I don't think that was very helpful to the cause. So, like I say, I think that it's cool to do stuff for activism. I think it's cool to have to have hobbies. I don't I don't know why you want to rock climb to prove yourself. I don't what do you think about the people who, for activism, go to art museums and throw mud on the Mona Lisa's cage? And they know it's not going to hurt it just to be there and like get and be like, we're doing this for Gophers of America or whatever they do it for. I'm not sure. Uh, that is those are the just uh, just stop oil guys, I believe, or don't. What is it? Just yeah, I think it's just stop oil. I think that's what. What I heard. Well, I mean, maybe there's more. Mm -hmm. But what I heard is what they do is they do it to prove a point mm -hmm. that them going in and throwing coffee on a 100 percent protected painting gets more news coverage than like and, homelessness and yeah. hunger and all this other yeah. stuff that should be on the news every day. Oh yeah, and that's like their point is like yeah. We, you knew we weren't going to harm the painting. We threw coffee on it, but yet you cover this news story all over the goddamn yeah, thing. I agree. And they're, yeah. Okay, so here's my thing. I honestly think that that is about the proper way of activism as you can go. I think that is proper activism. They're not hurting anything. They do throw paint on buildings and stuff like that, but it's all like water soluble paint. Like it comes off. It it is it is all pomp and circumstance, and I feel like that's what it kind of needs to be. Um, I guess to a certain extent, climbing that thing didn't really cause any harm unless you broke one of the LEDs. But you know you. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure they charge him like seventy five thousand dollars or something to have fun. Yeah, I mean, because it, it, the just stop oil, it's not, it's not trespassing until they want you to leave. That's yeah, a, that's a key, Jonas. You, you can change, you can chain yourself to a tree. Yeah, and just be like, listen, I love the tree. Yeah, and the tree's in public, so you're allowed to stand there. Yeah, you can't make me move. 
This is America. Yeah. It's, God damn it. <laughs> that tree in the parking lot where they're building that apartment complex. Go chain myself to you that could. bad boy. I will. You, you, you take could. a picture. You put it on this channel. And I'll be like, you know what? There's people out there that don't like cornflakes. Well, you could have a live feed. That would be so. You, Jones, we could go viral if you chain yourself to a tree. Do a live feed from it. We'll do the podcast live for a week. I'm not going to affiliate myself with you. You're part of the podcast. I will be on Skype. <laughs> you can hold the camera. Will you give me food so I can we'll stay there? You, we'll get you a nice tripod. How about that, get me, buddy? Get me we'll some get a bathroom. Mm, no, probably not going to be seen anywhere near I you. I pee myself. <laughs> I'm God sorry, damn, buddy. You, you're doing it for the calls, though. You're not wrong. I'll deliver food to you at night sometimes. Oh, that's nice of you. Stop by, drop you off a sandwich. Throw a whopper out the window as you drive by. <laughs> Throw a whopper. <laughs> not, not, not the sandwich, like one malted milk ball. <laughs> one malted. <laughs> Here you go, buddy. Some sustenance for you. Catch it in your mouth. That's or... it. And it lands like just outside my reach. <laughs> Bounces off my front tooth. Squirrel comes and grabs yeah. it, takes Aww. it away. Aww, all right. Shit. That's all the time we have for this episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe for the crazytown.com. It's Jonas. TNT. Oh, yeah.